back everybody it is thursday august 11th 2022 and we're going to be doing a short follow-up on the situation with the hudson river a little bit of drama going on with fact checkers online about what exactly is going on and we've also got some more earthquakes to look at that are basically bordering the south part of the hudson river close to new york city just the day before yesterday we put a video out highlighting this situation including an overall uptick in eastern u.s earthquakes i highly recommend you go check that video out right after this one to get a better idea of the eastern u.s flare up and earthquakes this includes eastern canada and all the way down towards puerto rico now as we said in that video this is a very interesting situation taking place all along the eastern seaboard and the eastern half of the united states itself as i said that includes parts of canada and you're looking at the past eight hours of earthquakes or at least reported ground shaking events now you can see right off the bat there are three right here right by new york city if i go ahead and click the 24 hour tab you start seeing a pattern emerge and we also spoke about this in a video with the North American Craton plate and these earthquakes quite literally following that plate boundary all the way up through Canada. Now if we go to the last 48 hours you can see many many earthquakes. Try to picture this chart from Lake Michigan straight down and then east. That is the eastern half of the U.S. and Canada and as we zoom in a little bit you can see there is a lot going on and although that is a lot to cover in one video I want to focus on one specific area that involves the south part of the Hudson River. Now if you guys remember the Hudson River has been in the news since July 3rd with all this crazy bubbling going on right around this area. The Hudson River runs basically from Albany, New York, all the way south through New York City. And a lot of news reports came out talking about this possible methane gas being released from the shores of the river at different points, and it's caused an uproar online, which is now involving fact checkers trying to debunk certain theories and things like that. But I want to take a look at these earthquakes first. You can see, if we go back to the past eight hours, we had this one earthquake reported near New York City. Once you click on them, you can actually go in and look at the details of the person or persons that reported feeling each of these situations. Now again, we're going to go to the 24-hour mark and you could see one that was reported 18 hours ago, a little while after we posted that video yesterday, talking about the bubbling and the possible precursor to seismic activity along the Hudson River. I'll be leaving the link for Volcano Discovery so you can go check these reports out yourselves. Let's go to two days, all magnitudes. We see another report of shaking closer to New York City itself, and this is not something you see all the time. So I find it interesting that just a few miles away we have the bubbling going on on the coast of the river and then just after the posting of that video just as this story is really getting picked up online we're starting to see little earthquakes here along the southern part of the Hudson just north of New York City. I always like to cross-reference information, so if we go over to the USGS, you see absolutely nothing being posted about the Hudson River. Once again, I am not sure why the USGS does not post these earthquakes. Some people have argued that a lot of the earthquakes on Volcano Discovery aren't earthquakes, but they actually have seismic sensors in each of the reports that verify that these were, in fact, seismic events. Now, to be fair, we do talk a lot on this channel about meteor explosions overhead and the apparent uptick of those as well taking place. In fact, you're looking at one of those sightings from just a few days ago reported in multiple different states as you can see here the reports were close to 300 people in various states including Canada itself here is a video posted by Richard Barnhill. You're going to see the meteor come in right here, and many of these reports actually say that there was an explosion in the sky that rocked their houses, shook things in their rooms, and in some of the reports, people came outside and saw their neighbors outside as well, so there was some sort of reported explosion when it comes to this particular meteor sighting. Now, the reason I say that is because over on Volcano Discovery, some of these reports are indeed reports of sonic booms or things like those meteors exploding, so not every one of these are earthquakes, but I still find it interesting that we're seeing this activity bubbling up and very apparent around the New York City area or where the south part of the Hudson River is. Zooming back out, you can clearly see there is a cluster in that part of New York. We have a small one going on down by the Carolinas. And then in general, as we explained in the other video, this is following the path of the North American Craton. So again, I have to ask, is there something going on, some sort of wake up, whether that's an attraction for meteors? I know that may sound crazy, but there are studies out there that say that meteors are somewhat attracted to certain parts of Earth. I don't know if that has to do with magnetic fields. It's something I've been looking into over the past few weeks, and it's very interesting stuff. Or are we seeing a wake up of the Craton plate itself showing more and more activity based on the fact that we could see this data and almost draw a line that follows that edge? It is absolutely something to think about. Now we're over here on Twitter with the Hudson River bubbling as a topic we typed in the search bar. And you could see as of four hours ago, people are still posting all about this situation that's taking place. And in one of these tweets, I saw that 
fact checkers are actually trying to verify that this was not a nuclear situation. In one of the videos posted of the river bubbling, you could see a nuclear plant or what looks like a nuclear plant in the left side of the video. And then as you can see right here, fact checkers bubbling water in the Hudson River is not boiling. Now, there are also theories out there that this was some sort of gas pipe along the shores of the Hudson River. I don't know if that makes too much sense. It's very hard to verify this information unless we are actually there to possibly smell the water to see if it's any sort of methane or things of that nature. Another thing I find very interesting about this situation is there's so much talk about it on the internet as far as the Hudson River, but not many answers. In fact, it seems like mainstream media is almost avoiding this topic and basically allowing the internet to run with all different types of theories. So in a way, my friends, that is what I'm leaving you with. A bunch of different theories, some ideas we've come up with. I appreciate all the information you guys have been sending me down in the comments section, leading me to different news sources to try to get to the bottom of this very rare situation taking place in New York, around New York, the entire Northeast and the Eastern half of the US in general. I want to thank you all for taking the time to watch this video. I'll report any updates that show up about this topic. Shout out to Canada and I will see you all in the next video. Take care. Bye bye. Stop right there, my friends. If you have not already, click that subscribe button and don't forget to hit the bell icon. Click all and you will get all notifications from this channel. And trust me, you won't be disappointed.